Welcome to another episode of Mummy Plays Minecraft. So today I've got you some bits to show you that I've been doing and then we will be going mining and fishing and all sorts. So yeah, so here we go. So I've added a little bit of decoration in here, you know, thinking we're underground. Let's add some cobwebs. So I've been doing that, I've gathered some of those around. Um, as you can see out there, I have been sea pickling. Got lots of sea pickles. Um, just wanting to get respiration um, on a on a helmet, and I need aqua affinity as well because then I can get rid of some of this out of the way, so we can see a bit more. But yeah, I'm, I want to get as many sea pickles as possible, so we can just light it up out there, so we can see better. I think it looks fab that we can see out into the water. Um, right, so I've also done some decorating out here. I've got another doggy. And uh, um, we've got some vines going on. Look at this. There we go. Just uh, just adding some culture, a bit of vines. Trying to go for a bit of an abandoned jungly theme on, on here. Um, put it around here a bit. As you can see, I've run, run out of a bit of vine. But yeah. So, uh, you know I like to use boats, so I've made a little boat dock here, um, made it a bit of an abandoned theme again. I've been watching Lost, so all their stuff in there <laughs> is all abandoned and all kind of overgrown. So that's kind of the look I've been going for, as you can see, kind of jungles taking over a little bit. But the vines need to grow, so obviously that's a work in progress. So again, some more cobwebs. All the boats lined up, all um, tethered up. There. So in keeping with this dock, I then went and upgraded my fishing dock to a similar thing, just without the cobwebs, because I'll be going on there a lot. Um, there, look, you see, look, jungle's taking over again. So again, just waiting on the vines to grow a bit and things. Um, doing well on growing my farm and a lot of cow is in there getting ready for this enchant table uh, an enchant room we need to make so um yeah so i'm going to get some mining done and things and um this video might be a bit of a montage i'll be definitely be jumping back in and out of going through the mine shaft um in the ravine to start with and uh, yeah every time i find something i'll jump back on and show you and just go from there really and yeah um oh in here sorry just before we go in there is he still in there yes there he is look he's in there we've got one trapped a zombie villager ready to um transform into a villager at some point we've got him in there trapped um, so yeah, so I'm going to head on down into the mine shaft in the ravine and like I said, I'll jump back on whenever we find anything guys. So guys, I'm going to go head down into the mine shaft in the ravine and yeah, I will keep popping on and off showing you different bits I find. Let's go. So here's the stronghold. Um, not really going to be tackling that anytime soon. Um, I want to go and do a bit of mining in this mine shaft first. So that's where we are going. Straight ahead, I can see a spider spawner, cave spider spawner, the joys. Oh no, yeah, cave spider spawner. Not ideal. Don't want it. Um, so yeah, um, I think I'll just be jumping onto it when I find something a bit more interesting than a cave spider spawner. So just um, on my way, um, getting a few bits, and I've come across a chest, so I thought I'd jump on so we can have a look at this together. 
um, part of my mining. I've got quite a bit of resources already, as you can see. Got a few bits and bobs. Um, so yeah, let's go have a look in this chest. Ooh, two diamonds. Now that is a good chest. Um, a couple of torches. Some oh, some rail. Yeah, okay. A bit of iron. Happy with that. Uh, gold apple and two diamonds. Woo! First diamonds. Yay! They are my first diamonds of this series, so check us out. Yeah, happy with that. And I'm going to go take this uh, minecart, because you can never have too many. Especially with the plans I have for the um, railways. So yeah, I'm going to carry on, guys, and I'll check back in. So I had to come and show you this because some of you might look at a mine shaft and think, oh, that's nothing, carry on. Well, no, look, it's a mine cart. It's really hidden in the wall. You wouldn't even know it was there. I looked twice. I only really looked through the way the um, rail was. And yeah, so yeah, that is a mine cart with a chest in. And not really much to show you. Um, bit of lapis, bit of coal and things, but... I did some you might have missed that and you could have missed something really decent in that so I thought I'd show you um what it was in that and what you're looking out for in case you missed it so yeah again not really much there but it is what it is um just making my way round um and getting resources got quite a lot of iron at the minute so that's good um what are we up to where's the iron there, we're on like 45, so we'll probably be up to 50 by the time I've got these, so we're doing a good, we're doing good, so yep, yeah, I'll carry on. Right guys, so we did the rhine shaft in the ravine, um, now, like I said, we need some diamonds, um, we've got two, so we can definitely make an enchant table. We've got enough obsidian for that, but then we ain't got enough obsidian to make a nether portal. So, and then obviously to get some more obsidian, we need a diamond pickaxe. So, obviously we need to get down to level 12 to try and find some diamonds. So I thought, let's go to this uh, mine shaft, um, where that zombie spawner is, and get down to level 12, and then see what's under there, see if we can find any diamonds, because... You know why not with the other one's just the ravine so um let's find a good place i reckon to try and get down to level 12 um and do it that way um all might do as well do it here aren't we okay so let's just make it known this is where there and then we're going to dig down um, to level 12 it's not that far away so I've got everything I need I've got bits and bobs um, to top up and everything so yeah let's um, let's dig down so I'm going to head down get down to level 12 I'll pop back in once we're on level 12 and then we can see what we've got um, whatever's down there and obviously if I find out before that guys I shall pop back in oh some gold take that oh lots of gold definitely take that I like gold yep so I'm gonna pop back in guys when we get, get carry on so guys here we go strip mining and boom some diamonds yay and um, just seeing how many there is oh four definitely a four stack yeah yeah nice little four stack nice little treat we've got there so i want to carry on because i was had intention of carrying on um but we'll definitely take these um which is good i'm happy with that 
so just watch what I did there. I don't, you know, you probably all found diamonds before, but you never know. There's like that one person who hasn't. So all I do is I just go round it, pretty much all the way round, just to see how many there is, if it's all accessible, and then I go and retrieve them. Um, now I definitely need these, or I would actually wait personally till I got a Fortune Three pickaxe or a Silk Touch, because obviously a Silk Touch means I can take that block of diamond take it back with me and then once we've got the fortune pickaxe boom get them put back out and get them put, taken off but because we need the diamonds um i am going to take these um because we need them so I'll put those up there and yeah so that was a good find not that far away from where i got down either look here we go i only come down here from there and went along this way so probably about 10 10 blocks so I'm really happy with that really happy with that so I'm going to carry on see what else we can find on this little strip mine we're doing here um, and fingers crossed might even find a few more so I'll check back in if I find any more guys right guys so still on my quest still um, carrying on search for diamonds and boom 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 what we've got here so um, I didn't click on because it's not a very good cave I just went up there it's quite extensive and it's not really what I wanted to look at at the moment so yeah we've got some more diamonds more diamonds um, I'm gonna guess at another four stack oh no oh we've got a big boy we have got an eight stack yes we have Okay, so because this is such a big one, I'm I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I want to wait till I've got a good pickaxe for this one. Um, yeah, I don't want to. No, I'm going to leave this. Well, obviously we know where it is now because it's on one of my it's on my mine. Um, and we're going to come back when it's um when we have got um a decent pickaxe because i don't want to i'm not wasting eight diamonds when i can get it better with a fortune three pickaxe not a chance so yeah we need some more um pickaxes i'm not going to go too m much further really um put my bow back down there but yeah, so yeah, look at that. Clicking in just to show you what we have got again. Some more diamonds. To be fair, I'm not shocked. Because obviously right there is some lava. And as you all know, they're good at um, spawning near lava. So yeah, we're going to carry on with the quest for some more. See what else we've got around here. Right guys, so um, still mining. As you can see, and I've just broke into something down there, so I thought I'd come on before we go see what it is together. Um, oh, I've got another pickaxe there, so I'll do that. Be all right for now. Um, yeah, so let's um, go down and see what I've broken out into. More mine shaft. <laughs> Love it. Even more mine shaft. That's awesome. Oh my god. Oh, oh that's amazing. Okay. More, more mine shaft. There's like mine shaft everywhere on this bit of seed. It's amazing. I mean, I do want to start building railways, so. This is fab. And obviously I know where it is because we've mined there. So we're not going to lose it. So... Oh! Oh, hello. Diamonds. Mm. Ah, okay. Let's... Oh, hello. 
that's creepy. Lurking up there. Wow, so we've got a lot of stuff to explore again and also some more diamonds. I'm gonna see how many there is. Um this is just these three. I think I might take them because in these mine shafts I'm just gonna lose them. Yeah, there's just three, so I'm gonna take them and then we've got them. Cause you all know these mine shafts are a maze. Oh, chest. We've got a chest. We've got a chest. What have we got in this chest? Golden apple. Definitely want you for when I start transforming zombie villagers. Um, oh, chuck this lapis in there because, yeah, it is good, but I've got 64 there. Um give up some of this cobblestone for the rail yeah I didn't mean to bring that that out with me I don't know why I did that I didn't mean to um, so I hope I don't lose that so I've got some more rail in there I don't want any of them seeds they can go away um yes another mine shaft this is awesome really is awesome I'm so hello couple more diamonds oh well on a roll here how many have we got in this one two mm. yeah taking them again um yeah i know what i said um for about the fortune but if they weren't in this mine shaft i would and i just can't i'm just don't want to lose them and like get lost. I can take the coordinates down and I've got to come back. Whereas they're just in the strip of my mind. So that I'm not going to lose. I just want to see if I can block that off. Well, I have a feeling I probably can't. So, I'll just go this way. And then block it off that way. See what's down this end. Oh, okay. So, we have some sort of spawner. At the end of this. Huh. Okay, that's a zombie, another zombie spawner. A day to come tackle this lava, Mr. Zombie. Hmm, a little secretive there, isn't it? Cheeky one. Oh, jeez. Hello. So we have found another zombie spawn. So that's two on this world. Or well, two chests in it and all. Check this out. Huh. It's not actually that much in there. Um, I'm take this gunpowder because um, when we start making potions, I can make them. I think I take the name tag just because why not? Hmm, pretty pants to be fair. I've had better ones. Um, uh, yeah, okay. So, um, I'll take the coordinates down for that. So we know where that is for the future. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have a little nosy round. I'll pop back on if I do find anything to report. And, yeah, to be fair... I'll have a quick look around and then quite possibly come back to this at a different time because I really want to get these 
get these diamonds back so I might I possibly might meet you at home that might be an option I know I keep I'm still looking around aren't I? I'm still going <laughs> And I said I would go in one minute. Yeah. Okay. Oh. 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 Nearly missed that. Cheeky. Oh, look at all them torches. Now that's a good chest. It might have only just been torches. But that I was happy with. And then there's another chest here. So even better. Like lots of chests around here. Oh, these are good ones. These are good ones. That will just complete rail that. Just rail. Right. I know. <laughs> oh my god. Right, yeah. So, I will take these gold bars, don't worry. I just need to know what to chuck away. I chuck this flint away. Bugger it. Right, so yeah, I'm going to head off home. So, I was just about to head off home. And I just walked this way like this, and boom! We have more diamonds. Now, this is going to be a bit tricky because there is a lot of... A lot, a lot of this stupid gravelly stuff. There we go. Boom. That's how you sort the gravel out. So, I'm just going to see how many there is. Because, um, again, I don't want to... I'm just going to tech them, because only these two. There we go. Took them. Right, I am going home this time. So, guys, just heading back out of the mine shaft and I'm going to put everything away that we have found. Oh, look at my vines. They're growing nice. Oh, they look growing awesome. A little bit overkilling on the house and <laughs> trim those up at some point. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're going to go put away everything we found and get sure the diamonds are put away and everything so we'll probably put those the valuables away first oh my geez so, yeah let's get all these away oh, I've got 30 diamonds this is awesome I've got loads doing great put my book in there yeah oh, hold on oh, sorry about that so yeah, um, really good successful mission for the diamonds and for it's just going through the mine shaft as well. Really good, awesome, successful mission. Um, so what's next on the agenda at the minute for now is um, eventually going to start the enchant room, and um, also we'll be needing to go into the stronghold. So, um, as you can see, I've got a bow. My favourite thing to use is a bow. Um, I got this while fishing, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut to where the fishing bits of fishing I did, so you can see what I got and when I got the bow, and also um, try and get a better bow because we need a bit of a better one to go into the stronghold because I'm bit I'm better with a bow, and obviously there'll be quite a lot of mobs in there. So, yeah, we're going to go cut now to the fishing side. Hi guys, so just doing a bit of fishing and um, let's just jump on and show you this. So, I did a lot of fishing bef um, earlier on in, um, well, no, I wasn't filming and as you can see, fish there and, oh, and them books I showed you before. Not much. So, I literally chucked in about six, seven eight nine nine times i chucked in and this is what i got so we've got six fish 
bit near. Uh, first truck in, I got this mending rod, so that's cool. That's a good start of a rod. Um, and then we got some fish to start, and then I had a book, which was Smite 4 and Unbreaking 3. And then straight after that, I got a bow with Power 3 on. So it just goes to show you that fishing is so unpredictable. So that is a good start to fishing and to the, some of my enchanted stuff I want. Because I, I want to go into the stronghold, but I, knowing how, what strongholds like and how I am with a bow, I'm so much better with a bow than a sword. Um, so I want to make sure I've got a decent bow with me. So that's why we are going to carry on doing some fishing, try and get a better bow. I have got iron cooking to make my anvil to combine different things with my bow and my rods and things to get them on the go. So we are we are cracking on um, with our survival series. Um, obviously, as you can imagine, I'm missing an enchant room um, at the minute, but I just don't want to rush into that because I ain't got the stuff I need. So as you can see, we're building up on that. I've got the cowies there. I've got some sugar cane to put out and get that growing up and things. So yeah, I'm just not rushing anything. So I want to take my time and get on with it. So I'm going to leave you there and carry on with my fishing. I shall jump back if I get anything better. Well, I had a proper grind at fishing and um, I waited till I got a full stack of cod. And in that I got, um, I've put some stuff away, but this is what I got since last time we spoke. Um, I got another rod we just met, Lore on and Curse of Vanishing. I got a bow with Mending and Power 4 on, which is good. Um, some leather, some puffer fish, which I'm going to chuck away in a minute. Name tags, saddles, another fishing rod with Mending on. Um, and yeah, so nothing some good rods I'd, I'd prefer more bows if I'm honest um curse of binding book which I'm going to de-enchant de that at some point and um get rid of that and yeah my um let's say my um barrel is filling up but when I've got I'm going to go get a chest and just have that just for my books and things um, and I want to go put all this, put these rods in here but then the ones I'm not going to probably use yet I'm going to go put in a different one I'm going to take that and name tags with me because I'm going to name the dog just because why not and then um, this one's for the fish and there's my original rod there just chilling bless it um, yeah yeah and then I'm going to talk about what I haven't got. So yeah, quite a bit of a fishing grind there. Not as much bows as I wanted. But we'll get there. I, I, I can put together a bit of a decent one. I've got lots of iron to make an anvil. So that's something I'm going to go do now. And then I can put the two bows I've got together. And they should be pretty... It should be okay bow. I've got a few arrows. Um... And I've got the chicken, so I can probably make some more. I've got some flint as well. Um, so let's get this anvil made. Right, let me have a look. How do we make an anvil? Right, so I need three blocks of iron. Hey doggy. There we go. So I'm gonna call him Bluey. Um if you have kids you will know that is a TV show and it's my daughter's favourite one. So at the moment, as they do, they go through stages. So there we go. Bluey. Boom. And put it with a doggy and I'll get a nice little blue collar at some point. There we go. Hey Bluey. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I'm gonna leave it there for this little section. 
just wanted to show you how I've done with my fishing and made the anvil now so that's another job done and I'm gonna go and have a bit of a sleep right guys gonna do um, another set of um, fishing see if we can get a bit of better bow to add to this one um, getting ready to go into the stronghold because um, the enchant room I'm wanting um, I'm wanting a lot more bookshelves than I need but um, I'm only going to take the bookshelves out of um, the stronghold for the decoration side of it I am going to make the other ones that we need for the enchant table and then the decoration wise I am going to go take them out of the um, stronghold when we find the library in there which is good because I've just been looking at the books I have got from the fishing and I have a silk touch one so I'm going to put that on and get um, bookshelves that way and then I've got to oh, hello, make them again hopefully I like silk touch on a pickaxe anyway because I want to go get some coral and things so it is useful for me why are you doing this? So yeah, just going to keep going, see if we get a treasure um, for you while you're here. Um, if not, I shall show you what I get um, as we're going. I've had quite a few good bits, it's just only one bow. I've had quite a few rods, just only one bow, and so I don't get... Um, Um, I could do with it before, like I said, for the stronghold. Um, ideally, could do with infinity. I prefer that because obviously I haven't got a skelly spawner or anything at the moment. So, could do with infinity on it. Even though I'm pretty sure what I've got already is. See, I've got mending on it on this. So I really not wanted to get rid of this mending, but I'd prefer infinity over mending, which is probably an unpopular opinion. So if you're watching this, guys, and you don't agree with me, you'd prefer just let me know what you prefer, mending or infinity. I'd be interested to know what people's thoughts on this. Drop me a comment what you prefer, infinity or mending on your bow. Right, we're not seeming to get any treasures at the moment, so I'm just going to have a little cut screen and I shall be back to let you know how we get on. Well guys, I'm going to give it up as a bad job because I haven't pulled a single bow, book or rod out since I've been doing it. I've had a saddle, tripwire hook, some string, a nautilus shell lots of fish lots of puffer fish but i've chucked them back in and so yeah i'm just going to give it up a bad job and i'll just have to let you know as and when i do get another good bow so um, while i'm putting this stuff away i'm going to take this opportunity to say thank you very much for watching not just this video but all the others so if you have enjoyed this video please hit the thumbs up and guys do not forget if you haven't already please hit that subscribe and that bell that would mean the world to me. Um, we have recently hit the 200 subscriber mark. Woo! So thank you all for that. Um, so new target. Woo! 250 subs. Can we get it? Let's get going. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It, it really, like I said, it means the world to me. And yeah, I shall see you later on for another episode. <laughs>